I'm here tonight with um, Bama Boys. Um, how did um, y'all uh, meet? Um, uh, well, uh, the original Bama Boys, uh, uh, we all just knew each other. We, we, all of us are DJs, so we kind of, you know, uh, all of us DJed around town. So, you know, we'd play shows together and all that. And that, that's pretty much how we met. Uh, we all just DJ and do the same, you know, in the same industry and played a lot of the same clubs. So, uh, that's initially how we, we first met. Okay. Um, who do you think, um, opened the doors, um, for, um, Hickok country? I'm sorry now? For who opened up the doors for the hip hop? Hip-hop wow, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, I can remember back in the, uh, I guess around 2000, I remember uh, hearing a, a guy from Texas, uh, uh, his name was uh, Toe Down, and he had a, a, a song called Country Rap Tunes. So for me, that was kind of the, the first one that I heard that really had a, a twain to it, but you know, rap's always been kind of bluesy. It's just got more country lately. But I, I think uh, if I had to say the first that I would consider a hit cop song, uh, it would have to be Toe Down, and uh, it was country rap tunes. But, you know, I think Bubba Sparks and, uh, you know, I, I say that, but Bubba did, wasn't intentionally, you know, I, I guess he was just being Bubba. So, you know, his style, I mean, they label it whatever they want to label it. You know, as long as, as people enjoy it and have fun, they can call it country rap, hip hop, you know, whatever. But there's a lot of, lot of pioneers out there. But, uh, you know, Georgia Boys have been around since, uh, I think, 2003. So, you know, th- those guys really re- really uh, ha- had a, a big influence on, on how it's t- what it's turned into today. Okay. Um, uh, did you, did um, you grow up uh, around now? Uh, um, the old country music? Uh, yeah, uh, my mother, father, uh, pretty much uh, my grandmother, they all listen to uh, uh, country music, you know, and uh, my family, uh, a lot of people play instruments and sing, they do a lot of gospel, you know, country gospel, so yeah, uh, growing up it, it was a lot of, uh, a, a lot of country music, uh, a lot of the late 70s, early 80s stuff, so, you know, with George Strait and Travis Tritt and, you know, uh, of course, Waylon and Willie, and you know those guys are real big. Kenny Rogers, so yeah, uh, a lot of country music. Okay, um, you just come out with uh, a new um, album, um, country this, country that. Um, how can right. people go um, download that? Uh, okay, uh, we're actually uh, with this album. We got a new uh, distributor. Uh, we're with uh, Selecto Hits. Selecto Hits is out of Memphis. They've been around since like 1960. Uh, it's owned by uh, the Phillips brothers. Uh, uh, Sam Phillips started Sun Records. And of course, uh, they also have Selecto Hits, which distributes worldwide. So uh, you can actually find us. Uh, you can go to SelectoHits.com. You can go to BestBuy.com. Uh, of course, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Store. Uh, all your major retailers uh, out there will have it. So uh, pretty soon, hoping to try to get this next album maybe in Walmart and have it a little, you, you know, easier uh, to go buy actual physical copy. But uh, physical copies are available. You can download those at all the major di- uh, digital distributors. Uh, you know, uh, whether you have an iPhone or you have an Android. So uh, just look it up. Country, country this, country that. Bam boys. There's a hundred sites that have it on there for you. Is there um, any um, co-writers um, on the album? Oh, absolutely. Uh, our first album, we actually had uh, a couple of features with a uh, six-time platinum uh, DJ, good buddy of mine, uh, DJ Magic Mike. He's been around for you know a long time, huge hits in the '80s, and has consistently made hits through throughout the years. But um, uh, we have him on there as an uh, executive producer. Uh, he also produced several tracks on there, A's in Your Face. Uh, Basin on the Front Porch is actually a DJ Magic Mike interlude that he did on the album, which is uh, the second track on there, I believe. Uh, we had uh, Demon Jones uh, on the record with us. Uh, we also had Lenny Cooper uh, on the record uh, with us. And uh, one of my favorites, Cowboy Troy. He, he did a song with us called Camo Angel. So if you like good features, there's plenty on there. If you like, if you're a Demon Jones fan, uh, if you like uh, what the Average Joes guys do, uh, there we got Lenny and and uh, Demon on there, and uh, 
our buddy Cowboy Troy. So, and, and there's a few more features uh, from some other guys you might recognize. Mike Bama's on there with us uh, with a song called Round Here. Uh, we're going to be doing a video for that pretty soon. And hopefully uh, we'll be releasing a single with Dean Jones. Uh, it's called uh, That Country Life. So uh, a lot of big stuff coming up. Okay. Um, where do you see um, Hick Hop in um, 10 years? Well, you know, music always evolves. You know, you, you never know which direction it'll go. I, I think it'll split off into uh, multi-genre. You know, it, it'll have sub-genres to, that people are, are... Because, you know, even though they label us all hip-hop, we don't all do the same type of music. I mean, we all have our own style. And just because you talk about some of the similar things, you know, it doesn't mean that, that you're exactly like another group. You know, uh, you know we don't... You know, most of the guys that I really enjoy in hip hop aren't cookie cutter type of guys. You know, they they have a particular sound that I, I really like. So, uh, you know, for instance, uh, our record is different than the Boondock Kings. Boondock Kings, good buddy vibes, but they they their style is a, a, a different, but it's something I really enjoy listening to. So, you know, uh, I think hip hop uh, will keep evolving, and uh, it'll actually finally get recognized as a true genre of music. And maybe you'll see the lacks and some of these guys that have been doing this for a long time, you know, uh, it, 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 you know, the Country Music Awards and, you know, getting some recognition for the, the records that they really have. They have some great records. So, you know, I'm hoping that, that, that it'll be legitimized in the eyes of, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if the industry accepts it or not. We're still going to make our music. But it'll be nice for these guys that have been beating the road and, and, and releasing great song after great song to finally get some, you know, recognition from an industry that, that really basically writes us off as a, a fan. Okay. Uh, what can you um, tell your followers and supporters out there? Well, you know, uh, without those people that, that, that buy your records, that come to your shows, that, that, you know, support you and share your post and, you know, really get behind the group, you know, without those people, you, you don't, you, you know, you, you just make the music for yourself. So uh, I just want to say from, from our standpoint, we love our fans. We're really appreciative to everybody. We love to see everybody come out and, and, and support these, these hip hop shows. Uh, yeah, these these people uh, that put on these shows go through a lot of, of stress and strain and, and, and they go through a lot to, to give you great shows so to all the fans and supporters out there of Hip Hop man we really appreciate it uh, glad to hear you bumping the music and uh, y'all keep mud bogging and coming to see us okay. uh, where can um, people go and see your tour dates videos and events uh, you can go uh uh, actually, we do have a YouTube page. It's called uh, Bama Boys Music uh, on YouTube. You can go there. Uh, we actually released a, a new single a while back. It's called Hang em High. It was the first single that we released off the new album. And uh, the, the video was up on YouTube. So go check out our YouTube page for the videos. Uh, uh, tour updates. Uh, you can find the tour updates uh, on our page on Facebook. This is Bama Boys Music at Facebook. Excuse me. Uh, we also do have our website. We're actually updating our website now, uh, but as soon as we get it back up and running, you can find us at BamaBoyMusic.com. Okay. Well, thanks for being on the show today. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I really appreciate it, Rich, man. Thanks for having me on, man. I, uh, I hope to... Uh, I uh, hope to watch some more interviews pretty soon. Uh, uh, you got a new fan over here, so I'm going to check out some of the stuff that I missed and uh, hopefully I'll see uh, a couple more interviews uh, in the near future. Okay, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Have a good one. Thank y'all.